Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So I'm in a completely different setting because I'm in a completely different house. But because of all this crazy virus that's happening at the moment, um, I actually came down to my sister so she wasn't by herself. The reason she didn't come up to ours is because me, my mum, my dad and my sister all decided that if we were together we'd just drive each other crazy and we would not get on at all. So I've decided to come down to my sister's to keep her company and yeah, this is where I am right now. So on, what day are we on? on Tuesday, Monday night, we got the announcement off Boris Johnson that we were, the UK was going into lockdown basically. It's just not been used as the word lockdown. So basically everybody's got to stay indoors. You can have an hour exercise, but you're only allowed to go out in pairs and you've got to stay two meters away from each other. And the only other times you're allowed out is if you've got to go food shopping, like essential shopping, not just like the mad one. Um, loads of shops are shut down, which is really, really scary. And mine being one of them because I work in clothing retail and it's not an essential shop so that is shut down. So yeah, it's pretty crazy at the moment here in the UK and I'm hoping that this goes, this like whole virus stops soon and everybody listens to what the government says because if they don't listen they're just, it's just going to last longer. But with that being said, um, I thought I would share what to do in lockdown because it's going to be a, such a boring time especially if well in my situation my sister's still working from home so I've literally got to do my own things basically but yeah I thought it'd be a fun little video to show you what you could do whilst you're bored not doing anything and yes I hope you enjoy so let's get into the video so the very first thing that I would suggest is to actually get dressed and get ready for the day like it's normal because then it makes your mind like I don't know I just think it makes your mind think it's a normal day and it just kind of yeah it just makes you feel better about yourself rather than just lazing around in like pajamas all day but that is one thing that I said the first thing that I suggest um once waking up I know it's like it's gone past one o'clock here so I just feel like I need to do something and getting dressed is probably the thing that starts your day off so it makes you actually want to do something. That's what I think anyway so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get dressed. So in three, two, one. That is me dressed. Now I'm going to open the windows and let some fresh air in. If you can hear anything behind it's the window open like a good YouTuber. But yeah I'm going to open the curtains let some sunlight in and then I'm going to move on to number two. So now I'm just going to put my contact lens in because I actually need to see. Because if you don't know, I wear contact lenses. So I don't have to wear my glasses every day. I can actually see. So yeah, another good thing that I think is good to work on whilst you're in lockdown or self-isolation um, is probably your skincare because with you being in lockdown you can't really go out, you can only go out for like an hour a day and you're not really going to see anyone so it's probably the best time to like do skincare because you don't even need to really make, wear makeup which I don't tend to wear a lot of makeup anyway but yeah i think that's really really important especially and you might even get into a routine of where you do it like on a daily basis because i know i'm literally rubbish at doing skincare on a daily basis but i've been trying my hardest and yeah we're just gonna i've already washed my face because that's part of my morning routine that i've been doing but i'm gonna put some moisturizer on i need to find where because I'm at my sister's, I don't have a wardrobe, so I've literally dumped everything everywhere. Oh, they're actually in the suitcase. Be right back. The lighting's so... there we go. 
So I'm just going to get a cotton pad and put some moisturiser on. I might actually move you to the window. Let's get some good lighting in here. That's better. So one thing about this lockdown isolation thing to stop the virus going is to not touch your face. So I'm literally putting it on a cotton pad and doing it on. To I don't actually touch my face. I would normally do this in front of the mirror, but I'm doing it in front of the camera. So that is skincare done. And now I'm going to move on to my hair because I'm just not going to leave it like this. But I'll be back once I've done it because I need to use my sister's mirror in her room. Because there's no mirror in here. But yeah, I'll be back once I've done it. So that is me ready for the day. So let's recap that. So number one is actually getting up and dressed because it just makes you want to actually do something. Number two is skincare because you don't really need to put makeup or anything on because you're not actually going to be seeing anybody because you're self-isolating or you're on lockdown and you're not actually allowed to go and see people so may as well sort your skin out. Number three, I've downloaded so many games on my phone. It's actually a bit ridiculous. And because I'm obviously living at my sister's right now, um, just while all this craziness is happening, she is working from home. And because I physically can't, because I work in a clothes shop, it's obviously short. Um, I've been <laughs> entertaining myself with a load of games and it seems to be working because i've been playing them every day but yes that's another thing that i'd probably say and i probably mention one app that is really really good at the moment and quite a lot of people have downloaded this and i've noticed by watching a few of youtubers videos that they have also uploaded and um, downloaded it and one of them is saffron barker um but yeah like everybody's been using it because it's just a really good way to like not be bored and also see friends and family that you can't actually see right now um it's called house party and you can literally have so many people um it's like a facetime thing so many people in the conversation yeah if you don't want random people to join it it just lock the thing um like lock the door and you can play games as well so it's really really fun next one i'd probably say is i'm so bad at this but i have watched so much netflix recently um, it's only the third day in lockdown, but it's probably like, when was I self social distancing? Probably started it on Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're on Wednesday or Thursday. So it's six days, it's Thursday today, the day you're watching this. So six days of self social ice, isolating, but it's the third day of actual lockdown since it got announced which is mad and yeah I think it's just that time if you're somebody like me who starts a Netflix series and then gets us to watch another one so you start another one and then you just never ever finish this actual series now is a good time to finish it because yeah you've got nothing else to do so you may as well as <laughs> another one that I have got um in mind but I can't actually do it myself is because we haven't got any here is maybe play board games with family because it's just so much fun to like get the board games back out like live as a kid again but we don't have board games here so we can't do that but yeah that'd be like such a fun idea that's like another suggestion actually tidy your room I'm really really bad at not tidying my room I do think I need to tidy this room as well actually make my bed inside here but yeah I think that's an another one literally just spending time with family is probably like the best thing obviously I can't spend time with my mum and dad at the moment because I'm living with my sister but yeah spend this time to like focus on yourself like it's kind of like a remedy like what's it called kind of like fix yourself like if you've had any problems or like hair problems skin problems try, use this time to focus on yourself because it's probably the only time really that you're gonna get because this is obviously going to go down in history this whole this 
like virus i don't want to say the name of it because apparently like youtube's been taking videos down that's been saying the word of it but yeah just i probably say use this time to focus on yourself and find who you are and fix any like problems you've got with um you're allowed in to go out for exercise for one hour a day i would take that opportunity to go for like a walk a run or a jog i think we're going out in a bit but me and my sister started it yesterday and yeah i just feel like it's good to go and get some fresh air especially since it's nice and sunny now in the uk typical <laughs> learn something new now there i know there's quite a few colleges that are doing some courses for free online that you can do whilst you have nothing to do in this isolation period and yeah i feel like if you're the person that wants to learn something do it now's your chance to do it you've got that chance so take it talk actually talk I know quite a lot of people use social media nowadays to communicate and I feel like it's so important just to sit down and talk like talk about whatever you want to the person that you're obviously living with like I just feel like it's so important to talk rather than to hide things and I think now's the chance to actually like get things out there and sort things out and actually talk like that's really really important whether it be about mental health it was something that's been worrying you something that's been troubling you at work stuff like that it's just so important to talk so just make sure you talk and don't hide away another thing that you could do is create tiktoks account i haven't posted that many on mine but i watch it so much like and just save like things that i want to start doing so i think i might just start doing tiktoks i don't know but i know a lot of people do it and it's so fun to watch so i think it'd give yeah i think it would give off good vibes for everybody and yeah i think that's everything so thank you so much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed and it gives you something to do whilst you're in this crazy situation and yeah please let me know what else you would like to see for next week's video i don't know if i can maybe do like kind of like a diary log or something even though i'm like pretty boring i might do a weekend you know because my sister's not what doesn't work at weekends so that might be a good idea but i don't know let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and hit my subscribe button if you are new thank you so much for watching see ya bye